Hey guys, it's Jazzy Ray here and I'm back with another birth chart reading. Um, so I'm doing Marina today. I hope I said your name right. I'm doing Marina today. Um, so before I get into your chart, if you guys are like birth chart readings or you want to know your life path number and you want that explained to you, um, everything to contact me will be in the description, my email, all my social media is down there. So hit me up. Now. I'm going to show you your birth chart, and I'm going to tell you right now, Marina, I'm going to have fun with yours, and this is why. If you look at it, this is what it is. You have double Cancer, double Leo, one Scorpio, and your ascendant is Leo. And then if you look at this, now you're the first one. You're the first one, the first chart I've done, and both of these energies are balanced. They're masculine and feminine. So I'm going to have a lot of fun with this one. Not that I didn't have fun with the other ones, but this one especially is going to be fun. I hope you can see me. I hope you can see me. So let's get started with your sun sign. So your sun sign is in Cancer. Um, it's a feminine sign. It's water. Um, it's do, it's um, quality is cardinal so you have mutable cardinal fixed fixed is very like they're very strategic they're um they tend to know what they want out of life and they stick to one thing unless they want to switch it um mutable is the complete opposite of that they they're all over the place they don't have a plan they do what they want to do and cardinal they put in hard work so like for example um, I'm trying to use a different example for this one. I'm tired of using the essay example. Let's say a fixed sign, which it could be a Taurus, it could be a Leo, it could be a Scorpio, or it could be an Aquarius. They go out to run errands. That's their plan. Their plan is to run errands. They're not planning on stopping anywhere else to get any food or anything. At least not until they're finished. And they're probably going to eat at home if they have food at home. They plan on doing errands so that's what they're going to do mutable signs which is gemini pisces virgo and sagittarius they can go out and run errands but then it'll be like hmm while running errands they're like hmm there's a taco bell right here i'm hungry let's stop at this taco bell not because i plan on going to taco bell it's right there and i'm hungry that's mutable we don't plan on doing anything we wing it it's like i'm gonna run these errands but i'm gonna rank, wing it whatever else i do it's whatever i don't care Cardinal, which is Capricorn, Aries, Cancer, and Libra. I had to think for a second. These people put in hard work. So not only are they run, running errands, but they're putting their all into running those errands. Okay? They plan on just doing a good job, you know, and then they reward themselves at the end, I guess. But that's the best way I could put it. So, Cancer... Cancer's ruler is moon. It's polar opposite is Capricorn. They say you're supposed to like marry your polar opposite. I don't believe that's true. I think somebody made that up, but I don't know. Um, and Cancers are very caring people. They're nurturers. They love their families. People say they're clingy, but it's just because they love their families and they protect their families and their loved ones. They just care a lot. When they care about you, they're willing to like kill for you. Like they are. Or lay down and die for you. Can the bad side to being a cancer is they can be emotion emotional at times. Um, in fact, they're they're called the weakest of the zodiac. No, they're not weak, honey. Like ca cancers do believe in peace. They don't like confrontation. Not because they're weak. Because that's they just don't want it to be. They want things to be peaceful. But don't get it twisted. A Capricorn will. Do what they have. Not Capricorn. <laughs> a Cancer. I hope I haven't said ca ca Capricorn in this whole video. Cancer. Cancers will do what they have to do. Okay? They will do what they have to do, but they're not going to like doing it because they rather handle it in a peaceful manner. Um, they say ca Cancers can be manipulative at times. I do know some manipulative Cancers. <laughs> but that doesn't necessarily have to be you. But... They are loving people. Overall, they're loving people. They, they're sensitive people. They make great, they're very family oriented. Like they love, they want families of their own, you know. They love family. 
and friends and they just love the people in their lives um okay so your moon's in cancer which works because that's cancer's ruler so it goes together basically i'm just gonna just say this cancers can be very emotional at times they have emotional attachments like a mug they care about their families they're all about loyalty if you break their hearts they're done with you they're not going back yes they may cry about it for a while but they're done okay they're done they're not going back they're not giving you another chance unless they're very like low vibrational or something but capricorns who love themselves they're not going back there's no reason for them to go back why so you can break their heart again no they will never take you back ever once a cat watch once a cancer cuts you off they cut you off because they love hard it's like leo okay which brings me to mercury and leo so Mar leo is mercury is how we communicate so leo is a masculine sign it's um it's fire it's fixed um the planet is the sun the sun the sun gives us life okay um polar is aquarius and i would say leos are very confident um they get a bad rep that they have this all about me attitude because they are the sun the sun gives us life so leo feels like i give you life honey <laughs> but it to me i mean i know some leos that can be cocky for no reason but i feel like leos are just confident they just, you can't really bring a Leo down. They won't let you bring them down. Um, Leos also like cancers. They love hard. Um, they're very loyal. They can be possessive though. It's kind of different with cancer because cancers are not really possessive. They just, they just clingy. <laughs> Anywhere your, their partner goes, cancer wants to go to. Leo is like, they're possessive. They don't want to share you with anybody else. Um, sometimes they can get jealous very easily. Um, they're flirty. They get, they're flirty, but they don't like when their partner is flirty. So, yeah. <laughs> but Leos are, you know, they're king and queens of the jungle. So they believe they, they, they're the shit, man. That's just the best way I can put it. Like, they, they just, they love themselves, man. Like, they do. They love themselves. I like Leos. I don't care what people say. I like Leos. Communication-wise, Leos love to talk about being successful and having the finer things in life and just being loyal and talk about life and things like that. So I guess they, they, they're into deep conversations too, but it's more like they're passionate about whatever it is that they're talking about. So they do want, they do like communication, but you got to be passionate when it comes to your communication because Leos are passionate people and they can bring that out of people like they can to like to the person who's just like kind of reserved and laid back because Leo is not, they are like extroverts. They want that in a partner. So they want that with, you know, their communication. They, they want you to be able to open up. So Leo's love conversations where you're talking about yourself and things like that. They love that. And you got to be passionate when you're communicating. All right? Passionate. They want to feel the fire, you know. So you, you want to feel the fire when you communicate with people. Seriously, you do. Um... And your Venus is in Leo. I kind of just explained this. So they want a partner who wants the finer things in life. Like Venus is how we love and how we want to be loved. So Leo wants passion in a relationship. They want a partner who's passionate. A partner who's confident. Who loves themselves. A partner who wants the finer things in life. They don't want to just, they don't want to settle for less. They want more. So that's the best way i can describe a leo in love like they want to feel the fire the fireworks and also when it comes to attracting a partner leos are like prey they love the chase the lion they love the chase they don't really like to be chased i think with female leos they probably do want to be chased but then at the same time they want to play the chase but i know with male leos they want to chase they don't like it when the female or whoever they're interested in at the time is chasing them they want to chase so let do chase like i guess for a female leo i guess it's like they like the chase but at the same time it's like they're gonna keep on chopping i don't know <laughs> i don't know but i just know leos in general they love the chase so yeah <laughs> 
and your Mars in Scorpio. So Scorpio is a feminine sign. It's water. Its quality is fixed. Now, Scorpio is ruled by two planets, which is Mars, which works. Because <laughs> I just realized that, that like, it kind of goes together. But also it's ruled by Pluto. Pluto represents the dark side. So that's like that's like their planet for real for real but they're also ruled by Mars um so it's polar opposite is Taurus and it's like will trade is idealism so Mars well let's talk about the work ethic because that's what Mars represents it's the action your drive I say they have a pretty good work ethic they kind of know what they want from them for their jobs and things like that though they tend to it's kind of like Capricorn. They tend to like work alone. Like they like working alone. I mean, they don't have a, they don't have a problem working with other people, but they kind of know what they just don't really open up to people at the job because unless they trust. Because Scorpios, are one, it's one of those signs that's just very misunderstood. And in, in order for a Scorpio to really feel what they, to, or in order for a Scorpio to let people in, they have to be able to trust you. So I guess. In the workplace, I guess Scorpio would have to trust their instincts and just hope that they get what they want from their from their jobs. You know, they're pretty careful. You know, their moves are calculated. So, um, anger. Scorpios believe in revenge if you wrong them in any way. Because if they have now, if they don't have like an emotional attachment with someone, that they can care less what you do. But if they have an emotional attachment with with somebody. And then that person hurts them. Trust and believe Scorpio is getting you back. And they're not going to stop until they get you back. And then when they get you back, then it's like, oh, okay, we're cool now, you know. But Scorpio has a razor sharp tongue. So they will say the, the most hurtful things to really get at a person. The most messed up things to really get at a person. Um... So Scorpio, yes, they believe in revenge. That's when that dark side kicks in. That's when that Pluto kicks in, okay? Um, Sex-wise, um, they have a high sex drive. They, But here's the thing with Scorpios, though. Like, people get misconstrued. They think Scorpios just sleep with whoever. And that's not the case. Scorpios are very emotional. They're water signs. So in order for them to really have sex with someone, they have to be able to trust the person. If they don't trust the person, there's no sex happening. And, for example, now, I'm not saying this is you, but a Scorpio can go up to somebody and say, hey, let's have sex or something like that. And the person may say no. You know, a Scorpio is going to think, damn, that person really must not like me because they're not even willing to sleep with me. I'm willing to give myself to them and they don't even care. That's how they're like. So they're, there's an emotional, they have an emotional attachment to sex. They can't just have sex freely. They can't do anything freely unless there's some type of emotional attachment to it. So, but they do have a high sex drive. Don't get me wrong. They freaky, but they picky about who they're freaky with. It has to be some type of trust there. So that explains the drive. So the ascendant is in Leo. Leo is how we express, I mean, their sin is how you express your personality. So Leo, since it's in Leo, I would say you are a Cancer who's very confident and thinks she's queen. She's a queen, okay? Um, like I said, Leos are very confident. They know what they want. They know what they're going to stand for. They know what they're not going to stand for. They're very passionate people. They're loyal until you give them a reason not to be. They love hard. They're hunters, you know, they're always striving to get whatever they want. So, and they're not cheap. They're not cheap. So, you probably, you probably, you probably buy a lot of expensive stuff. <laughs> um, now, let's talk about you. Now, this is the part that excites me. Let's talk about your masculine and your feminine. Five, five. That means you're balanced. You are naturally balanced, which means you're able, like your masculine means physical. Your feminine means emotional and mental, which means you know how to handle yourself in certain situations. Like you know when to like walk away or you know when to be passive. You know when to kind of just be like, you know what, I'm not going to get upset at that. I'm going to just move on. It's not that serious. And then you know when to 
you know, get passionate and be assertive or be aggressive. You know when to, you know there's a time and a place for everything. And the reason why I said that I'm going to have fun with this because when I did my birth chart, my energy is balanced. And I'm like, wow, that really explains a lot. Because there's certain situations that I'm in that I just walk away from because it's just not worth getting upset at. And people look at me, oh my gosh, that's so weak. No, it's not because it's stupid. I'm not going to fight with you over Chili's. <laughs> Chili's the restaurant. I'm not going to do it, you know. But um, you're balanced. You're very balanced. It's really not much I can say about this because you're just, you're balanced. You know how to handle yourself in certain situations. There are some people who, like, if you watch my other birth charts readings, some people, reading, some people are, they're not balanced. I have to explain to them how to be balanced. So, this really don't need to explain. This is like the shortest reading I've ever done in my life. So, that's it for your reading. I hope this resonates with you. Um, if you guys would like more birth chart readings and life path numbers, all that, hit me up. Everything's in the description box. And I will see you guys. And I'll see you guys. Bye.